woke up, you guys, I woke up like two hours ago. It's totally fine to stay in bed. Summer, check emails, check your calendar, schedule things. I got a, call, a phone call from my doctor, but I didn't answer it. So now I have to schedule blood work for a follow-up appointment next week. Are you guys, as moms, like, because that's mainly who watches this channel. <laughs> I went to bed last night, and all that I had on, left on the counter, like the whole kitchen was clean. The whole thing was clean. And I left my popcorn bowl on the counter at like 11-ish. I went to bed, thought everyone else was in bed. I came down this morning and the kitchen is just a trash. Jason's at work, he made eggs to be fair, but like, and Chelsea's awake, she's watching Harry Potter. But what in the world is up with the rest of the kitchen? I don't understand. Everyone else is asleep. It's fine, it's totally fine. I'm not gonna wake anyone up. To all your moms, they're like, I'm gonna wake my kids up every morning. They shouldn't sleep in during the summer. They need to be active. And I'm like, Why? let them be kids. Let them enjoy their summer. Anyway, I digress. I'm just tired. I have like an hour before I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna go get my nails done this morning. Actually, look at noon, it's not morning. But I want to not wear makeup today because it's going to be the second hottest weekend of the summer. We're gonna go into another heat wave coming up today and tomorrow. There's no makeup going on this, but I am going to, I'm gonna shave my face. Yeah, look at that. My coconut oil that I use, completely liquid. That's fantastic. I also got this caddy at, where did I get this one at? Hobby Lobby. I went to Hobby Lobby and Michael's yesterday. Um, I'll show you downstairs what I got at Hobby Lobby as well. I got a decoration downstairs. I'm like itching to get things cleaned up and decorated and stuff downstairs you'll see but I got this little caddy it actually doesn't really spin let me show you so like it's supposed to like spin it doesn't really I don't know whatever but I'm gonna put I'll just show you what I'm gonna put in there my desk is just kind of cluttered here and I like to just I mean I can still spin it it just doesn't spin easily but I'm gonna put some of my stuff in here just kind of access it better. This goes in the drawer. I don't know what this is for. I think my kids need to give that to Callie. Maybe I'll put that right there. See, then I can spin it and get to it. Like this stuff just needs to like not be in the way. This goes in there. See, then I can just put that in there. That's garbage. That goes downstairs and I'm going to shave my face. For the most part, I don't get into this bottom drawer. So I'm kind of thinking, this might be okay to just let it leave here. Or I might go ahead and put like, maybe I'll do that. Put this in here. That will go back in the corner. Like I know that this is, this is all the makeup my kids don't want. My older girls don't want anymore. So I haven't dealt with that. And I haven't dealt with like this mug of brushes that I don't use. And maybe I should just try and tuck those into the container. I don't know, let's see here. Alright, I am totally digging this because I use this stuff every day. Actually, I'm going to put that one further back. I use my lotion every day, my, my sponge, my powder doesn't really fit into there. And then I can get to my brushes and some lotion. I'm totally digging that. So, we're going to shave my face really quick. Put in the comments below, have you guys shaved your face before? And maybe you should try it. It's fantastic. Alright, I kind of straightened up the rest of the desk. I think this is actually going to work out really well right here. And those palettes did not fit. I only got two of them in here. The other ones are right over there. I do use them. I actually kind of want another one of these, but they're like 50 bucks. Actually, they're $50 on sale. They're $100. <laughs> Jason got a good deal on his when he gave it to me, but I got the rest of it cleared off a little bit, but I don't want to do any more, and I certainly don't want to, like, tackle that right now, and clearly I don't even want to make my bed. It is what it is. I got to climb out. <laughs> that looks weird if I'm not showing you. I have to, like, climb out of the maze of our AC unit. I have to, like, climb over the hose. Look my way out, and the hose working great the extender I don't know 
This is what I'm talking about. Literally the only thing on the counter last night was this. So I get that the milk, the eggs are gone, peanut butter is gone. No, that jug is gone right there. But like I took care of the popcorn last night. Did someone make more? And then these pans were the only ones in here. Like how 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 is this? If they're still in bed, like how is there a mess? Like I just don't understand. To be fair, this is my salt from last night. And for those wondering, the Lazy Susans work fantastic. To be. This is a reminder. Take my medicine. <laughs> I did. Thank you. I'm gonna call Jason out. Never ever cleans his egg pan. I get he's in a rush, but he never ever cleans it. You tired? Yeah. But is Callie home today? Thursday? I don't know. They still haven't been able to give her their gift. You want to show them really quick in case wow. Kelly doesn't open it in front of... Well, I don't want to undo it all. Should we just show them like the one thing? Alright. We don't want to run, unwrap the whole thing. <laughs> I think you have an idea of what it is, right, Chels? And then you got her bath bombs, yeah. candy. Is that it? Oh, and hair scrunchies. Yeah. Yeah. But she has been at camp all week. So let's take this trash out. I'm giving you like real glimpse into my day. No fancy boating activity. Yeah. Chelsea and I are always the first ones down here. We're always the first ones doing stuff. Everyone else is super lazy. Gotta put you down so I can put the trash out. Also wanna give everyone maybe an update just for my records, um, but also for my encouragement. I am down to drinking not even one can. I don't even finish a whole can. This is the Coke Zero. This is the new new formula. Don't love it. I'm still on the hunt for the vanilla kind in the new formula, but I'm doing a lot better with my Coke consumption. And it's no sugar, so even better. And Abby has put her little vitamin waters in here. Kaylee only gets like one or two now at the store. We don't buy her the big case anymore of the monsters. You guys, my garage door opener is like a teenager. Or a toddler. Sometimes it wants to work. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it goes fast. Sometimes it goes on its own schedule. Headed to get my nails done. And I really, the reality of mom life is that I shouldn't get them redone again. Because there's only three weeks in the summer left. I'm going to get them redone for our trip in less than two months. So really... Oh, see? Stupid garage door. Hang on one second. It didn't go back up, or it didn't go down. Oh my goodness sakes, this thing. I tell you, it literally is. Hang on. On its own time. Just, it's okay, take your time. Take your time. Ah, oh, no, what the heck? There better be a kid on the other end of that. What the heck? Why did it go back up? Okay, there's no person in there. I did not stop it just now. Come on. It doesn't like the heat. It's really temperamental with the heat. So maybe it's like a mom. Maybe it's like a mom in the heat. Literally. Okay, stay shut. All right, here's my nails before. And here's the nails after. I think they turned out really, really cute. Um, so I have a funny story about the nail polish color though. So I wanted something a little bit different. So I picked out this like turquoisey blue color. Actually, this isn't the color that I picked out. So I sat down, I just had to wait a few minutes before they were ready, and I set the bottle of nail polish on the chair next to me, but it rolled off of the chair and just shattered all over the floor and all over the chair on like the legs. I felt horrible, and the lady had to clean it up. She wouldn't let me do it. I was like, just give me the towels, I'll do it, you know? And she was like, no, 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 because there's like shards of glass everywhere. Got a little something different. I'm kind of stalling because Kaylee wants me to take over to her boyfriend's house for the day, but she's not ready yet. So I don't want to go home and get settled in at home and then have to turn right around and come back out. So I'm just trying to decide if there's any other errands. I want to go to the dollar store, but it's on the way to her boyfriend's house. I don't want to go clear over there and then all the way back and then clear over there again. I am listening to a book on my, it's an audiobook, and I use Overdrive through the library and it's Daughter of Molokai. And I read the first book. This is the second book in the series. First book is just called Molokai. And it's the story of the island of Molokai and the people who had to go and live there 
in the early 1900s, I think. Um, I'll have to look up the dates. But the story of the leprosy camp and all the people who had to go and live there, they were segregated off from the rest of the population in Hawaii. That included this little girl who was only seven years old when she was taken to the camp for the first time. Anyway, it's a true story. It's called historical fiction, that's what that's called. Is that the right term? Where well, the names of the people in the story are not real, but the story itself is real. Excellent book. I didn't know anything about that and the Hawaiian people and what happened to them. So if you are interested in that, they do do a tour of the leprosy camp on that island. They said it's quite expensive or difficult to get to. If you walk, if you hike down the trail or take horses down the trail, it's extremely dangerous. And then it's extremely um, expensive if you fly there and do the tour and they won't let you take pictures of the houses that the people lived in or the few left the few natives that still live on the island they're in their 80s and their 90s and they still live there obviously they don't live there because they're supposed to and they're like trapped there it's just that they've lived their whole life there and that's just where they continue to live. I would love to go and do something like that. It's just, it's really expensive and I also want to respect those people enough to just let them be, you know? I can understand the history of the people and what happened enough to maybe not step in their space. Also, I am trying really hard to finish this water and another one before I get a cold beverage. And you ladies know what I mean. I'm gonna get through two of these before getting a cold beverage. Let's see if I can do it. Have fun. Now this one is gonna go to the dollar store with me. See if we can find some goodies. All right, so I'm not gonna do a separate haul for this one because I didn't really find what I went in to look for. I have an idea to do, I can't really say because it might be for her. No, it's not really for her, kind of. But I didn't find the specific things that I went looking for. There's a new brand, and I can't remember the name of it. Splash it on the screen right here. There's a new brand. It's just not stock in my store very much. I'm gonna keep looking for it, maybe at other stores if I happen to be in other areas, but I'm not gonna worry about it a ton. I have a few weeks before I need to worry about it, even if at all. But while we were there, Ashley went and picked out some little beads. Right, Ashley? Because I'm trying to think of ideas for her little activity days at church, um, little craft activities or things that the girls can do. We only have activities every other week, so twice a month. So I'm just trying to think, and we thought about doing um, little keychains for their backpacks for back to school and have a little back to school activity. But I don't know if we're, anyway, I've got to talk to the other leader. So we just got some more beads, and then I've got the letter beads at home already. Um, and I looked for little keychains, but I couldn't find any. So I yeah. need to look for that. Like make them or something? No, I want a keychain that like, not even like a regular keychain. I want it to be the ones that like open and close easy for the kids so they can put it on and off their backpack easier. And then we just got snacks. That's really like, oh, and hangers actually showed me. I can't find this color of hanger at Target for Abby and she's all out of hangers. And this is why you buy extras. If you are a color coordinating hanger person, and I know one of you is, because you commented a few days ago, Sista, I got you, buy extras so that when they break or you buy more clothes or whatever, you have extras in that color because sometimes they don't bring that color back in. And then I got some disposable travel bottles for my shampoo and conditioner for our upcoming trip. I just thought, and I thought, why not just get it, but instead of spending a dollar each on little travel size bottles, I'll just squirt the shampoo I've already got. We can talk about the trip another time. But I also got a little glass jar for my Q-tips. I had another one on my makeup table and it broke. It just completely shattered. I don't know what happened to it, I don't know. Maybe it was the heat of my bedroom. <laughs> I yeah. don't know. But I don't need one with a lid. I don't like that. I like to just be able to like reach in and grab them. That is all we got. I am done with my one thing of water. Down to the last bit. I did not get two in. But I will when I go home and eat lunch. So I think I'm going to stop for a cold beverage. Are you wanting a cold beverage, Ash? Yeah. It's hot. It's hot, huh? And we're trying to decide if we're going to go out tonight for couples night. Our friends want to go to the beach, but it's going to be 100 degrees still at like 7 o'clock tonight. 
and I'm just not in the mood to eat in that heat. She's like, well, we'll get in the water. And I don't know why, I'm just not in the mood for it. Not even in the mood for getting dressed up and going out, but I'd rather just go eat somewhere with air conditioning. <laughs> Let someone else cook it and then sit in the cold in a cold room. That's my way of having a good night. Okay, I'm Marco Poloing with my sister right now, and there's this cute little birdie that is on our window, on our on our uh, mirror. Oh, he's so cute, you guys. Talking Hope to you're enjoying people. this, Andy. I know, I'm talking to, oh, where'd he go? He's right up here. Look how cute he is. He's just kind of hanging out, you know, but he's so cute. Look how yellow he is. I don't know, he's like not really flying very well. Maybe he's not doing so good. No, I feel kind of bad. He's only, he literally, oh, where'd he go? It doesn't seem like he wants to go anywhere else. And he can't even fly and land and stay up here. Yeah, he can. But it's like he doesn't really want to go anywhere it's else. It's haunted. Oh, yeah, I don't know. He fell. Yeah, he's not really like doing that great. Okay, we just got home. Dude, that's like, <coughs> like, did we get these at the dollar store? That's exactly the same color. That's amazing. And it bothers me when they bring them down. Unorganized. Come on. And we don't do baby hangers anymore. So now we put all these ones up here. Uh, uh, uh. Come back and say it. Thank you for the snack. What, what a show are you on for Harry Potter? I don't know. Are you on number five? Is it good? Andros. You should read them. Andros. <laughs> and you get to share. And you get to share some chips. Oh my gosh. Why Chelsea. does everyone do this? Everyone <laughs> picks on Ashley because it's so easy. Okay, before Chelsea turns her movie back on, I wanted to show you this cute sign I got. I needed something big. This is really bothering me. So <laughs> Can you take off? this off? I want to make sure I liked it before I took it all apart. But I needed something she only had big. It yesterday because it wasn't centered, and she's like, "Oh, this is really bothering me." I know. It would bother me too. I wanted to make sure I liked it, but really, like, it just ties in all the black and brown and white that I'm trying to do in here. But also, we are going to paint this wall. This is the project I've been wanting to do. We want to paint this one, this one and that one because they all have straight edges to end at and then if I really like it I'm, I'm actually wanting to do it white I'm gonna show you in the other room why so I just really like the stark white in here with the shelves and this wall right here but I don't think we have it in us to do this on that other wall in this room and I don't know that it would look that great I don't know <laughs> actually I do know I, I just think I want all of that to be painted white to match this room I'm really liking the look of it and then if this looks really good, I might paint this room as well. But we'll kind of just see because I don't mind this one being the brighter color. It's not white, white. Um, but I do want to paint this little section here and we need to paint just the soffit up there and behind the, like the backsplash area. So as soon as it's not hot, and we might actually just go ahead and wait until the kids are in school and have that be like a Friday weekend kind of project for Jason and I to work on. Oh, I love how, hey Abby, if you go to the lake and you have towels and everyone comes over, you need to take down all the towels. I like having a place for everyone to hang out, but not if they leave it a mess. Came up to put this all away really quick here in my room. It is super hot in here, so I'm not gonna stay very long. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and fill up the jar. Okay, that is perfect. I really like that. Kind of tucked some of the other stuff back behind there. And then this can just kind of sit here and I can still spin it and I can get to everything I need, but it is all perfectly contained. And then the rest of it is all cleared off, which I really, really like. And I can move this. I moved the bucket that was behind there. I'll deal with that maybe later tonight. But I can open this up but also kind of push it back behind and have more space here in case I'm doing my curling wand or my straightener, they're up there. So I'll just put these ones away. Jason uses them from the bathroom. All right, making dinner. 
Hopefully it'll be ready before Jason gets home. Water boiling, I've got some meatballs on. I'm trying to decide what kind of pasta I have enough of. I have some shells and some thin spaghetti. And then Chelsea will have red sauce, and I think the rest of us will do with the Alfredo sauce and the meatballs. I'm snacking, put those away. And then I'm just trying to go through the pantry and get things all cleaned out. Got rice the other day. Fill this up. All right, we've got pasta and meatballs, and Ashley's gonna try the white sauce. She's only had white sauce a few times, but she says she wants it tonight. And I love this one, it's really good. All right, we are going to end our night. I'm gonna show you the state of the kitchen. See if this is, see this is my popcorn. I didn't eat very much of it, actually. This is the popcorn bucket from the other night. I'm just gonna show you the state of the kitchen, clean. Put that butter lid back on. And let's see if, ew, gross, what the heck is that? The dishes have already been started. Oh, it was the applesauce. Let's put the water in that. Okay, so the dishes are started. Yes, that is started. So let's see if the state of the kitchen stays like this when I wake up tomorrow morning. So you'll have to stay tuned and see what it turns out as. I was gonna not get on because I feel like a hot mess, but the whole point of this video is my real life. Like I didn't do anything extra today. I didn't, we didn't do a fun activity. We didn't do a ton of chores. Jason wasn't home, he was working all day. This is just my reality. This is a very normal day. The only thing I didn't do today that I normally do is edit a video because I didn't have anything left to edit. Aside from that, it was a very normal day. I wonder when the kids go back to school what kind of content you guys want from me. Obviously that there's not going to be any huge activities and so I'm just wondering what kind of content you guys want. So if you could just put it in the comments below what kinds of things motivate you. Like I don't want to be cleaning and organizing the whole time but I don't mind doing that every once in a while. In fact, I have a pretty big cleaning organization project that I need to work on as soon as it's not so hot. But just leave a comment below what you want me to like kind of film once the kids are back in school. Because aside from like the Monday and Friday when Jason's off work and maybe like a Saturday activity and sometimes we film on Sundays if we do something extra, whatever. I don't know what to do when the kids are all in school. So leave a comment below. Tell me what you would like to see, what kind of ideas you have for us. I have thought about like being little tourists with Jason like once a week. And we go and do some kind of a Seattle excursion. Maybe we take the ferry for a couple hours and go and have lunch on the islands or just kind of show you around the area a little bit more and kind of give you that kind of an experience. And it'll give us time together and it won't be just running to Costco, which will still have to happen. You know, that's our life. But it'll give you maybe a different perspective of our area and things that you can do here so anyway take care and hope you enjoyed this video i still have an eight-year-old who won't let me film her right now because she knows she's not supposed to be awake and on her ipad correct ashley what, what? why are you still over there good night <laughs>